in Lycoming County, a longtime twirling coach and her team are beaming after a successful trip to the national competition. Newswatch 16's Chris Keating shows us what it takes to twirl. Elena Jones has been teaching the art of twirling in the Lycoming County area for nearly 30 years. She is the owner of Phillips Fancy Footwork. She is working with her students at her studio in Muncie. It's best to start when they're little so that they're learning, you know, the skills from a young age and then progressing because we hope that one day they compete at the advanced level. Jones twirled all over the world in different events. She shares that knowledge with her students, and many of those students have gone on to twirl in college. She says practice is key. Lots of stuff you don't see, lots of practice, hard work, sweat. <laughs> um, these, these girls not only take twirling lessons, but they also take dance and gymnastic classes. For anybody who thinks twirling is easy, it's not. It takes a lot of hard work and a lot of practice to get as good as a lot of twirlers are. I like twirling because it's fun and it's like sports and I really like sports too. The girls credit their coach for their success. I love my coach. She's so nice and sometimes she can be strict which is really fun. She likes to correct us a lot which sometimes it gets like kind of annoying but then she's helping us get better. Twelve girls who form a group known as the Marshallettes recently competed at Nationals in South Bend, Indiana. They were all coached by Jones. Nine-year-old Annabelle Bender placed first in two categories. So I'm a national champion in my strut for beginner nine-year-olds, and I am a national champion in my show twirl. The girls and their coach tell Newswatch 16 that they have already began practicing for next year. Chris Keating, Newswatch 16, Lycoming County.